I'll take an iced coffee. You mean a cold brew or an iced coffee? What's the difference? Hey guys, welcome to Coffee Shop Vibes. Welcome to East Biari Coffee House. This is the YouTube show that helps you enhance your specialty coffee shop experience. I'm Mike, my wife and I, we fell in love with coffee, fell in love with going to coffee shops, and that led us to start East Biari Coffee. Two years ago, at the start of the pandemic, uh, we actually opened East Biari Coffee House. Uh, it became one of America's top rated coffee houses. So that's been awesome and it's been an awesome journey for us. Each day we meet new people, we explore, we're always innovative in the world of coffee. We've actually tried coffees now from uh, roasted in every state in America and we're always innovating with our drinks. Again, this is Coffee Shop Vibes and today I'm gonna share with you cold brew versus iced coffee. We'll first start by talking about what specifically is cold brew uh, and how to make it. All right, so cold brew, well, people come in the shop all the time and say, I'll take an iced coffee and I'll be like, you mean cold brew? <laughs> yes, I also work part-time as a barista. We should have clarified that for people who don't know. Anyway, but there is a massive difference. We do not serve iced coffee here. Uh, and I'll tell you why when we talk about what iced coffee is. A lot of specialty coffee shops do, and some, some will actually serve both. All right, so what we do with cold brew um, is cold brew. Here it is. Okay, it is a coffee uh, that is steeped. You know, there's many ways you can make coffee, many contractions or, you know, whatever. Processes and pieces of equipment that will brew something using ground coffee, right? Cold brew is when you take finely ground coffee and let it steep. And it comes out to this. Now, there are a few characteristics about it, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the process of how you make cold brew after I fill this up. <laughs> so there it is, famous cold brew. You typically see um, them pour kind of the the uh, cream in it and it has that nice soothing flow through it. Anyway, cold brew, very rich, highly caffeinated, more caffeine in cold brew than there is in a cup of coffee, just so you know, because it's steeped. So how we make coffee at the cold brew at the coffee house is we use this. Yes, I think this is 10 gallon uh, bucket that can make up to I think like nine gallons of cold brew or such. Um, anyway, we make it in about five or six pound batches, five or six gallon batches, excuse me, which uses about five or six pounds of coffee. The ratio is almost one to one. I like to net out one gallon of cold brew for every pound of coffee. So it's a much more concentrated coffee. This has a, a bucket inside, suspends it in. Um, it will actually sit in this for, we like to do it for 18 hours. Everybody has their own, you know, own time frame, but at least 12 to 24 hours, you let finely or finely, you let very coarse ground coffee sit in water. The water can be room temperature. It can sit out in a room. Uh, it's just steeping, same as you would steep if you have a, a tea bag. Now that produces a very, very, very kind of smooth drink because it's not brewed under heat, where coffee is being brewed at around 195 to 200 degrees. Um, when, the, when the hot water hits the coffee to extract a flavor, this, it just steeps like a tea would steep and it comes out to be a nice smoother, crisper cup. You know, different blends will have a different flavor profile. Uh, I feel the flavor profile file is brought out a little bit more with cold brew. You know, we actually designed a cold brew. Um, we designed coffee, or designed a coffee blend with cold brew in mind. So we thought about what blends would make the best or what coffees would make the best cold brew. And that's how we came up with what we call our Allegheny cold brew blend here at the coffee house, which we do sell by the way. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, uh, you can make cold brew with any coffee. Uh, if the coffee is more acidic um, or has kind of more, um, more like a grapefruit flavor to it, uh, it's gonna take a lot of the acidity out because that's the nature of steeping a coffee. This is gonna be super smooth. Has a little crisp bite at the end of it. Um, that's how most of them are. Each one's gonna bring out different flavor profile. It is gonna be a lot different. Well, not a lot, but it's gonna be noticeably different from what it would taste like as a coffee because the extraction method is different. So what is iced coffee? Well, iced coffee is served at a lot of specialty coffee houses. Uh, I don't know why, I feel that it's much more popular to serve cold brew, um, but it is, and it's very simple. Well, I know why, because a lot of these coffee houses have very expensive coffees. Cold brew, it actually costs more to make cold brew. Um, they like the flavor profile of their coffee, so what they'll do is flash, chill, as they say, the coffee. But it's very simple. 
And temperature does matter when it comes to brewing coffees, two or three degrees one way, probably not. But we're talking about 197 degrees is what we brew coffee at, uh, compared to cold brewed, what, best case, 65 degrees, right? That's a big gap, and that really matters uh, as long as how much contact it is with the water. So anyway, when you're getting coffee to coffee shop, it's probably gonna be brewed right around 197 degrees. And as soon as that coffee comes out, uh, some specialty coffee shops will take a glass of ice, will take their freshly brewed coffee, whether it's a Chemex or, or a brewer, whatever it may be, and simply pour it over. Of course, that causes the ice to melt. There you have it, iced coffee. Now, the reason we don't like iced coffee here uh, again, personal taste right? is because it causes a lot of ice uh, to melt. So it kind of waters down your coffee, depending on how fast you sip this, chug this, and it's, I'm thirsty, so. Different characteristics. Again, you can taste more acidity in the iced coffee. Um, but again, it's a longer process to make cold brew. Some, some places just simply will serve you a glass of iced coffee. You can put the cream in this and it can have that aesthetic feel as well but two differences, this is cold brew, this is iced coffee. Now, again, recapping, cold brew, it's made by steeping like tea. It takes anywhere between 12 and 24 hours. It's made with very coarse coffee. The flavor profile of this should be smooth and crisp. It's going to have a much less acidity. And I forgot to mention this, one of the kickers about cold brew is because it's brewed by steeping, it actually has a shelf life Cold brew can easily last a week. Uh, we don't like to serve past a few days at the coffee house, but it'll still taste fresh even uh, up to a week. And you can, if you want it hot, would you just have a jug of cold brew? Well, you can even put it in the microwave or warm it up somehow and uh, it will taste good. Much longer shelf life. Iced coffee, of course, this is gonna get watered down. Hot coffee in general will have a shelf life of about two to four hours maximum, probably two hours, and it's really gonna to start to change its flavor profile. So you wanna drink this pretty quickly. Again, it's gonna be iced down or watered down a little bit if it melts, in which it will. <laughs> but it will have more of the characteristics of the coffee, just a little bit of a chill to it. So iced coffee versus cold brew, that's the difference. Again, make sure you know what your coffee shop is serving. A lot of coffee shops, especially coffee shops now, serve cold brew. Some only serve iced coffee, some serve both, and there is a difference. All right, guys, hey, thank you for watching. If you ever have any questions about coffee, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, we love to talk coffee, love to share the world, especially coffee, sh uh, especially coffee shops, especially coffee with you. So feel free to post your questions, send us an email. Anyway, guys, take care. We'll see you soon on another edition of Coffee Shop Vibes.